Hi, my name is Anna and I'm a board certified neurologist. Today, I'm going to walk you through ischemic stroke, how it affects the brain and how to recognize and treat it. Ischemic stroke is the second leading cause of death worldwide. Ischemic stroke occurs when a blood clot blocks a blood vessel supplying oxygen to the brain. This blockage leads to a lack of blood flow. When the brain doesn't receive enough blood and oxygen, it can't function properly. The brain cells start to die within minutes, leading to permanent damage if not properly treated. Stroke symptoms may vary depending on the area of the brain affected. These symptoms may include sudden weakness or numbness on one side of the body, difficulty speaking or under understanding speech, loss of coordination, and even loss of consciousness. Recognizing the symptoms of a stroke is crucial. The acronym BEFAST can help you remember them. B stands for balance difficulties, E stands for eye or vision problems, F stands for facial droop, A for arm or leg weakness or numbness, S for speech difficulties, and T for time to call emergency services immediately if you observe these symptoms. In assessing for brain injury caused by an ischemic stroke, medical professionals will perform a neurological exam and use imaging such as CT scans and MRIs to visualize the brain and identify the location and extent of the damage. Time is of the essence when it comes to treating ischemic stroke. The primary goal is to restore blood flow to the affected area of the brain as quickly as possible. The treatment options for ischemic stroke include intravenous thrombolytic therapy. This involves the administration of a clot-busting medication to dissolve the blood clot and restore blood flow. The administration of this clot-busting medication is limited to within three to four and a half hours of symptom onset. That's why it's crucial for someone experiencing symptoms to seek help as soon as possible. In certain cases, a procedure called mechanical thrombectomy may be performed. It involves using a special tube called a catheter to remove or break up the clot, allowing blood flow to resume. This procedure is reserved for patients with a large artery blockage in the front part of the brain. After initial treatment, comprehensive rehabilitation can help stroke survivors in regaining lost abilities. Various therapies can be used, such as physical, speech, and occupational therapy. The prognosis for ischemic stroke varies based on factors such as stroke size, the affected brain area, and overall health. It's crucial to not overlook the potential of neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to reorganize and adapt. Through regular engagement in recommended exercises during rehabilitation, patients increase their chances of regaining lost skills and overall function. Thanks for watching my video. Please be sure to subscribe for more informative content about neurology and the brain.